Hello and welcome PML fans, I'm your host Joseph Moore here, also head admin of PML, and with me I have coach uh, Matthew Woodruff. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, my name is Matthew, I'm the coach of the Indiana Tracers. What up, what up, what up? Alright, man. Well, what's your draft history? So, I've been playing in draft leagues for about three, four years at this point. Uh... I, I started them back in Sun and Moon, uh, right when the game came out. I started my own league, was the first one I ever joined back in college. Uh, I started it with just friends from college, and uh, we did three seasons of that, went really well, and uh, I've been playing ever since. I'm currently in the TPL and the SQL, along with this, this league. Yeah, that's where I met you, the TPL, I believe. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's been a pretty fun league. Yeah, no, I really enjoy it. I found it uh, just one day randomly, and I decided to, you know, hop on the train. And uh, I met a whole bunch of people through that, and it's great. It was one of the first leagues that I did online with people that I didn't know beforehand. Yeah, this uh, PML is actually the league I started, too. Uh, I didn't start it at the beginning of Sun and Moon. I started it, like, at towards the tail end uh -huh. of Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. So I, I, was, I was late to the party, but I, fi I finally got there. Hey. Still been around for a while. Not a new league on the block. Oh, no, nah, yeah. Um, what made you choose your logo? Uh, so, my team is based off of the Indiana Pacers. Uh, I, I really wanted... I liked how it rang. I, I went through phases. My original team name was the uh, Indianapolis Igly Buffs, but I wanted it to be, you know, based off of a sports logo in some way. Mm -hmm. And I, I spent way too long brainstorming ideas. And uh, I decided to go with the Indiana Tracers, make my mascot Gardevoir, because it has Trace. And uh, a friend of mine put the logo together for me, and it turned out really well. Yeah, that's awesome, man. It kind of still looks like a basketball in a way. Yeah, that's that's we tried to keep it as similar to the original logo as possible. That that was our goal. <laughs> keep the colors with shiny Gardevoir as well. Yeah, it also helped that uh, Gardevoir's head was already round to begin with. Yeah, exactly. That's why we got. That's why we chose that one instead of something like Porygon too. That's awesome, man. Um, yeah, that's how I make most of my logos too, based off of sports teams and a Pokemon. That's how I came up with the Tartrix. Yeah, I think it's definitely the best way to make your team name, in my opinion. But I know a lot of people aren't sports fans, so. Yeah, that's Can't true. I think that's the most fun because then it's a play on words at the same time. Yeah, exactly. I love it. One of the best parts of draft league. <laughs> Well, now that you figured out your logo after brainstorming all that time, would you ever change it? Uh, so, I wouldn't change my team name, I don't think. I would consider changing my logo, you know, updating it, because I've had this logo for a couple years at this point, mm -hmm. and, you know, I was down to mix it up, but I haven't really felt the need to, you know? Okay. Well, if you're ever interested, I, I can customize something new. Maybe you'll like it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um... But that also leads me to the next question here. Um, how do you feel PML draft will be different from other drafts you've done? Uh, the one thing that jumped out to me off the bat was the draft style. Uh, I've never seen one where you had to pick your Pokemon tier by tier. I think that's going to be a really interesting twist on it from what I'm used to. I'm used to it just being a free-for-all, and I'm one of the people that loves to pick Pokemon in lower tiers before you know, most people do, and I won't be able to do that. So it's going to be really interesting for me, you know, having to keep up with the, the crowd. Uh, I'm also really excited for the draft, because this is the first draft I've ever had the first overall pick, which is really cool, because, you know, with that, you have a little bit of knowledge going in, like, all right, there's at least one Pokemon I know I'm getting, and I'm really happy about that. And... Uh, yeah, I think that's the big thing I'm really excited for because, you know, it's not every time that you get the first pick and uh, I'm really going to try and use it to the best that I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. And then that also leads it to this. Um, you, It's okay if you say it because yeah, it's I'm the number one it. pick. Uh, <laughs> who do you expect to take number one overall? <laughs> so my pick right now is Dragapult. Uh, I was, originally, when I first looked at the tier list, I saw Celesteel and I really pick it because it's my favorite thing to use in draft but then i saw that you can only dine you can't dynamax the ultra beast and i said well 
I don't really want to use the first overall pick on something if I can't Dynamax it, so I'm going to have to change that up. And so now, I, I think I have to take Dragapult just because, again, I don't know when I'm ever going to get the chance to use it in Draft League again. And so it's it's definitely what I'm leaning towards right now, but it could be any of the dragons because I like using any of the pseudos, especially like I wanted to use Dragonite at some point, I wanted to use Garchomp at some point, but I think Dragapult's the, the first one we're going to try and use. Oh yeah, man. I, that, I'm sure that makes a lot of people who are trying to go for Cinderace feel a lot better. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't have any interest, interest in Cinderace. I've used that before. Uh, I used a Blaze one, but, you know, I had fun with it, but I want to try something new. All right, well, how do you feel about the draft gears? Have you looked them over any? Yeah, there's some things that definitely surprised me, I'll say that. But there's steals in every tier. Uh, there are a couple Pokemon where I don't see myself, you know, ever taking them in the tier that they're in. But I can't blame you, you know, you got to fill them up and everything. But... Overall, I think there's a really good spread in every tier, and I'm really excited about that aspect because there's not going to be a whole lot of bad Pokemon on teams, which I really, really love. Because it's hard to make tiers that have that where you're not making the tiers too small and you're not having the tiers, you know, the bottom tier is completely useless. Yeah, that's what we try to do um, uh, with the first, like, uh, tier ones. We try to yeah. have, like, a maximum of, like, 25 to 30 Pokemon since you only get one pick. Yeah, I really like that. And then uh, we we broadened our tier twos a little bit because we ended up doing two tier two picks because since megas, normally we would do mega tier one, tier two, tier three, and then work our way down. But Dynamax, any Pokemon can Dynamax. So I don't feel like it's as special as mega evolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. So that's why we ended up doing it the other way. <clears throat> yeah, that was one thing that I... I'm excited to try out as well as with the the free points you know usually my strategy with those is you know try and pick up a second tier one and then a whole bunch of tier fives because I, I enjoy using the, the bottom tier Pokemon but in this league you know you only have the choice between the tier threes through fives and that's fine by me because you know I enjoy using those tier fives so much but it's definitely gonna be something that you know I'm gonna have to uh, you know mess around with see what I can figure out and see what I can pick up by that time well, what's one mon in the draft you feel should move up in tier, and one mon you think should drop down Ooh, in tier? Okay, so there were a couple of Pokemon in tier 2 that were really surprising to me, like Linoon. That one I remember really, really surprised me because it didn't, you know, make too much sense to me all the way up there. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple Pokemon in tier 5 that I think can also be moved up some, like Arctazolt isn't an incredible Pokemon, but with Dynamax, I think it's super, super good because, you know, you can Dynamax set up the hail and your speed's doubled, and you're hitting crazy hard with your ice and electric moves, and there's not much that can switch into those moves. Yeah, that's true. I didn't even think about that. And then uh, Line Noon, I think uh, it was probably a multiple decision because of the Belly Drum Extreme Speed set. Yeah, I understand that. I just think that since it's so frail, as long as you attack it the turn that it tries to set up, most attacks are doing 50%, so it's really tough to get it set up. Yeah. And with a lot of Pokemon can live a hit from it. All right. Well, let's go ahead and move on to the next question here. What is your favorite battle strategy? So my original tried and true strategy was to have a defensive core that could pivot in and out uh, my favorite core of all time is actually uh, Celesteel and Lantern. Lantern is one of my favorite Pokemon to use in Draft League. And uh, those two cover each other super, super well. And it's one of those things where, like, you know, Celesteel can take a hit, switch out. Lantern can take a hit, Volt switch out. And I used to play with that and then a whole bunch of offensive pieces, you know, things that hit hard, switch out, like Darmanitan. Mm -hmm. But recently uh, in the TPL, I've decided I've been playing a lot more super hyper offense. Like, Web's offense, you know, get Web set up turn one and then just try and out-offense your opponent. And I've been having a ton of fun with that. And it's really nice, I think, in the 20-minute the timer meta of uh, Sword and Shield. And so I think I'm going to try and go for a similar strategy to that in this league. Just because I think it works really, really well with such a short timer. It's nice to, you know, either win big or lose big. But win and lose quickly either way. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of the same way there. Yeah, exactly. Like, in my entire TPL time, I haven't had a single battle go to timer, and I've done, like, 25 battles in that league. 
But since you like to get webs up turn one, uh, you know, defoggers always come in. Uh, what Weber do you normally resort to? Uh, my go-to is usually Orbeal or Vicavolt. I like that they can pivot out. That one's really, really nice for me. But honestly, I could take anything. Like, Chargebug, I think is a solid Pokemon. I could see myself picking that if I needed to. Uh, and on the, to on the topic of Hazards, I don't really care. If I'm running Hyper Offense, I don't draft Hazard Removal unless it just happens to be on Pokemon that I'm picking up. <laughs> like, this is PPL, I have no removal. And it's just, well... They're going to have to be the ones removing the hazards because I don't care as long as my webs are up. Exactly. So, Rely on their defog. Yeah, exactly. I don't care about hazards. Rocks are fine because I don't draft stuff that's super weak to it. And if I do, I can just throw boots on it if I need to. That's kind of my logic. And uh, I'm sure it bites me every once in a while. But overall, it's, it's not as bad as you would think for having no removal. And I make sure I always draft a grounded poison too so that I don't have to worry about toxic spikes every single week. Yeah, toxic spike can be the bane of my existence sometimes. Yeah, it's it's the only reason I get a grounded poison every season, even though I don't like them that much. Okay, well, based off your battle strategy, is there a specific mon you're trying to get? Ooh, is everyone going to hear this before or after the draft? Uh, everyone's going to hear it before. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I can't give away too much, but I will say Lantern's my favorite Pokemon in Draft League, and I try and pick it every single season, and I'm going to try and get it again this season. <laughs> okay, definitely. I respect that. Um, people, people don't respect Lantern. It got two different... Uh, uh, Absorber uh, things. Yeah, get hit by electric or water moves, and that's super nice, because those are real common moves in Draft League. Now, it doesn't do a ton of damage in return, but it's a great pivot, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then it could go flip turn and uh, bolt switch, so... Yeah, exactly. It's always and got good. options. Sucker Punch, no one ever expects Sucker Punch Lantern, but it's very nice for picking up KOs on things that have sashes and that type of stuff. Really? I didn't know that. Real nice on the Assault Vest set that I like to use so much. Oh, wow. That's that, that's an amazing tech right there. <laughs> See, it, people call it a tech, but I use it so much that by the halfway point of the season, if I have Lantern, it won't be a tech anymore. <laughs> Not very true. <laughs> Alright, man. Well, is there anyone you're excited to battle in the PML draft? Ooh, I'm in. I noticed I'm in the same division as uh, my friend Ryan, and we've been in. This, we've every league that I'm in, he's in. We do everything together, and he's never beaten me in a draft league battle. But he beats me all the time in practice, and you know, I'm just excited that he gets another chance to battle against me because you know, I've got this series lead like 5-0 at this point. So you know, I'm sure he's gonna be super excited, and it's always a good time to battle him because we know each other. Inside and out, we know each other's battle styles. We practice together every single week, so we know how each other battles, and we know what each other's going to bring. So it's always a super close battle, and it's always super entertaining. That's awesome, man. Maybe You never know. Maybe he'll build you this year and end up winning one. Oh, I, I, I believe it. There was one season in a league that we started where he went undefeated in the regular season except against me, and then won every game except for the championship also against me. Oh, and so, man. Like, he went up like 11-0 on the season, but lost his two battles against me. So I know he's still upset about that one, and I'm sure he's going to try and win every single time he faces me real hard. Oh, yeah, man. I'd carry that salt packet all <laughs> everywhere I go. <laughs> oh, I still don't let him live it down. All righty, man. Well, if there's anything else you want to say to the fans real quick before we go... Ooh. Uh, cheer for the Tracers, best team in the league, but lots of cool teams. Super excited to be here, and I'm always super excited to join the new league, especially one as cool as this one. All right, thank you, man. Well, we'll see you again after the draft. So, thank you. Um, thank you I for joining us. A great interview because, you know, I'm sure no one will take any of my picks, and it's going to go perfectly, and I'm very excited for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, they definitely won't take Dragapult. Yeah, that's true. That's one thing that I'm going to be very happy about regardless. Alrighty, guys. Well, we'll see you guys next time.